if you want to improve mobility of the hip joint, then you can use your distraction to actually improve mobility of the hip. This is longitudinal distraction for the hip joint. Your distraction is going to refer to as non-specific in that it improves all range of motions, either flexion, abduction or adduction, and extension. So it's going to refer to as being non-specific. So you distract by opening up the intracellular space between the head of the femur and the cetabulum. You maintain your distraction for seven seconds and then repeat it for about seven to ten times. For specific mobility, for specific mobilization of the hip joint, then you have to perform the gliding technique. The gliding technique for the, for the hip joint, if you look at the hip joint applying your concave convex rule, at the hip joint, the head of the femur is convex and the acetabulum is concave. But the head you are mobilizing, the top which you are mobilizing, is the convex head of the femur. This means that if you apply your concave convex rule, it's a convex rule that is applicable. That means if you want to improve flexion, you have to glide into extension. And when you want to improve extension, you have to glide into flexion. For your gliding technique, you have to support the hip joint with the pad, basically. Okay, come on. Okay, you need to support the hip joint. Okay? With this, before applying your gliding technique, you have to distract force. So you distract the hip joint, then you now glide posteriorly. If you glide posteriorly, then this, is, this will improve flexion. So you hold your gliding for about four to seven seconds, distract, and then glide the head of the femur posterior. So this is posterior gliding to improve flexion of the hip joint. So let's go over it again. Distract the hip joint, get the head of the femur, and do posterior gliding to improve flexion. If you want to improve shoulder extension, your patient has to lie prone. In lying prone, you have to still distract the hip joint, then look for the head of femur and glide anteriorly. So this is anterior gliding. So anterior gliding improves hip extension. If you use your convex rule. So let's do it again. Distract the hip joint, look for the head of femur, and glide anteriorly. This will improve hip extension.